so over the last few months, I've become kind of like a big fan uh, of a political talk show. Actually, it's called Are We OK? And it's between uh, Mr. Money and Ong Kian Ming. Um, just uh, these two guys, except that one is a regular guy. You know, he works in finance, not really a politician. But the other guy, Ong Kian Ming, is a uh, former minister, so former uh, government deputy minister of trade and industry, I think. And they talk about what's happening in the country, similar to what many of us do at the Kopitiam, except that you know, Ong Kian Ming has more experience, lah, and he's able to speak into situations where we just ask the questions, but he can actually give real answers. And something about yesterday's episode really intrigued me because uh, it was talking about how, um, I won't name the parties, but two factions in government and in opposition uh, were often fighting with one another. That's not surprising, right? And they were making statements about how each was causing problems. But what Ong Kiaming said was very interesting. He said within these two extreme factions, actually there are people who are willing to work together. Actually, there are people who want to establish a kind of dialogue and consider at least the possibility in the future that they might have to work closely together. And that was very interesting. That was very intriguing. Because it's often behind the scenes. And the reason why sometimes we don't see it either is because it's very touchy. And it's touchy for people within their own party to suggest that they work with, like the enemy. Lah. Now, the reason why I'm interested in this is because, well, personally speaking, I've also been looking into a kind of similar situation between a couple of uh, church groups here in Malaysia. Um, if you know, you know that. And um, it's very sensitive and it's been going on for a really long time. And many people look at it and they go, you know, this will never improve. This will always be here. But I wonder, you know, I really wonder, you know, if in Malaysian politi politics, you have these two extreme groups, and actually within these two extreme groups, there are actually people who want to consider the possibility of talking to the other side. I wonder if actually that might be the equivalent in this kind of like Christian church situation. There actually are people who don't just pour out hate on the other side, who may disagree completely, but still, you know, are willing to say, hey, maybe we should sit down and talk. And also that the reason why this hasn't really happened yet is because people within your own party is kind of like sabotaging you. Some people are just so strong and, and against any idea of this that even if you suggest it, they'll shoot you down. And even if it does happen, they'll do everything to sabotage it and to paint it in a very bad light. Now, um, if that is true, and I think we should consider the possibility that it is, you have to wonder if what's keeping things from improving is not actually the other side. It's actually not the enemy, per se, but actually our own people, people within our own group who just want to either stubbornly keep things the same or, for selfish reasons, want to have that enemy on the other side so that they can be the hero. Mm. Anyway, just worth thinking about because it is happening in real life in, you know, in Malaysia, in politics, and I wonder if it is also happening much closer to home. <laughs>